That's right. What's up, y'all? Good evening, everybody. Still standing. That's the show today. Still standing. Why? Because we're still standing. Some of us, man, some of us went through tragic. Some of us went through the COVID. Some of us been through a heartache. Some of us been through people passing away on us. And we are still standing. And I'm here to tell you, guess what? You're still standing for a reason, man, because there's a lot of things that you still have to do in life that you haven't done that you're scared to do, that you feel that's impossible. But remember, everything is possible. Everything is possible with God. So today we are talking about still standing. You know, I was, um, I used to come up with my shows because of something I went through or something that I see or somebody. And uh, I was watching something and still standing popped out, right? And then it was so weird because I said, still standing, you know, I was like, man, that's so strong. That's such a strong uh, statement. Right. And I'm like, man, I'm still standing. You know, I'm still standing and everyone is still standing no matter what went on, no matter who's going to be president, no matter what's going to happen. We are still standing. And the reason why we're still standing, because we're standing for a reason. You have people out there that have lost their leg because of diabetes. Right. That have lost their arm because maybe in a, a freak accident and everything, but they're still standing because God has way much more to do with for them, you know, and he wants so much from out, out of them, you know. And sometimes we don't know. We don't see how good we have it. You know, sometimes we worry about, hey, man, you know what? They got a bigger house. I wish I had a bigger house. Or you know what? Oh, man, I wish I could live in that neighborhood. Or they got a bigger car. Or I wish, I wish I can afford that car. While there's other people right now that are not standing, that cannot stand up, that 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 don't have the house, that wish they just had a house, that got to go live in a tent or got to go live in uh, somewhere where they they don't even want to be there no more. You know, we take a lot of things for granted. You know, years probably about three and a half years ago, you know. I was real selfish. I was about my always about myself. And there's so much more. Still standing. There's people on TikTok that I, I see. I see their stories and I say, man, you know what? They're still standing. They're still standing, you know, and, and that's really awesome. Make sure make sure y'all hit here so I can see uh, what's up. Shout out to Jimmy, man. And we just forget the real importance of life. We do. Right. I'll be the first to tell you, you know, sometimes I'm on the social medias and I'm looking at this and looking at that and everything. But lately, I haven't been trying to be on social media as much. And if I am on social media, it's because I'm doing shows like this or I'm over here trying to market or advertise or stuff like that. That's what my social medias are used for. Right. And then sometimes you meet great people. You meet awesome people. I, I meet a lot of people on TikTok. I meet a lot of people on Facebook. But the people that I don't want to be around are the people that are going to have doubts. The people that are going to have the weakness toward God, the people that go like, you know, the people that don't have enough hope no more, the people that have lost hope and and everything in God and say, you know what? He doesn't work. He doesn't work. You know, the people that don't have the faith in themselves on what's good, on what can happen. Right. We have a lot of negative people around us. And I'm here to tell you. Regardless if it's going to hurt their feelings or it's going to hurt your feelings, it's time for you to surround yourself with people that are going to push you up, not bring you down. You know, people are and I'll I tell you, I'll be the first to tell you, man, I have gotten away from people that were keeping me down. I have. I have. I, 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 I'm not I don't got nothing against them, but I'm not going to let them take my energy. 
You know, it's real easy for a negative person just because it don't happen for them. They think it can't happen for you, you know, and they don't give it enough time for them for it to happen for them. They don't give it enough time. They don't give God enough thanks for things that already happened for them. You know, people always want easy. People always want you got people that envy me right now. They're mad. They're, they are mad. And at the same time, they're wondering, hey, how did Free lose all that weight? How did Free do that? How is Free a different person? How is Free driving this? How, how is Free living like this? How? 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 Because I believe in myself. Because I believe that God made us with greatness. Everyone is made with greatness. You know? And my shows, thanks to my man right there, Jimmy, Good people, man. Family. I see him as family. Why? Because he thinks different now. Why? Because he lets God guide him. Why? Because he believes in himself. And he knows what he was doing wrong. And he knows where he's going now. That's why. You know? So he told me, he goes, hey, Free, have you ever thought about, and I, I hate to be so repetitious about this all the time, but I, I want you to know. I want you to know because maybe y'all didn't see the show last time. So, hey, Free, you ever thought about doing a scripture on your shows? And I'm like, I never thought about it, but I'm 100% down with it. So today the scripture says, 1613, be on the alert, stand firm in the faith, act like man, be strong. Listen. Be on the alert. Stand. What's it called? What we're talking about? Still standing. Stand firm in the faith. Act like man. Be strong. Those words are strong. Those words are so strong. Because we forget who's in charge. It's not Trump. Trump's not in charge. Biden's not going to be in charge. They're not going to be in charge. They're going to be in charge of your, our country. One of them is going to be in charge of our country. And we're going to get into politics, right? Because it ain't about politics. But God's going to be in charge of our heart. God is going to be in charge of our faith. God is going to be in charge of our everything. If we give him the permission. If we give him, you, people always think, man, you know what? God, no matter what, you know, if you're not praying to him, if you're not thanking him, God's going to be there. Yeah, that might be true. But you're not getting all the blessings that you need to get because you haven't given them all the faith you have. You know, we're too busy thinking, hey, you know what? Uh, science, we think this, we think that. Well, guys, we are here for a reason. And I promise you it wasn't science, you know, so. The thing is, today I want you to be proud. I want you all to think of something that y'all went through, that y'all went through this year. 2020, we all went through something. Me, you, my mom, your mom, your cousin, everyone went through something. Everybody went through something. The whole country was hit, and we were hit hard. We lost loved ones. We lost this. But I want you to know you're still standing. You're still standing today. Because God is not done with you. There is so much you have to do out there. There is so much. You see, guys, I know my show is about the keto lifestyle. I know I'm a keto coach. I know I'm an intimate fasting coach. And I know that I'm real passionate about that and everything. But without God, nothing would this none of this would have happened none of this would happen i'm gonna tell you why because three and a half years ago i was i was living sick i was always going to a doctor i don't know how much money i owed the doctors i would always go to emergencies i've always went to sleep sitting down because of my asthma i've always had digestive problems i bought people that never knew but i was depressed you know those times i didn't want to wake up in the morning i've always um just had problems with me when I would use the restroom. I just had a lot of problems with me. Right. Well, God has been trying to wake me up for years. Right. But every time I would get sick, I would deal with it. So when I became high, when I got high blood pressure, oh, you know what? I'll take these little pills. I'm going to be OK. I'm going to take these pills, these headaches 
these terrible headaches where my head feels like it's going to fall off. I'm going to be okay. As long as I take my pills, I go through this pain. I used to go through pain every day. Every day, I'm looking around my house for aspirin, extra strength aspirin. I'm looking for extra strength Pepto-Bismol because my stomach felt like it was still there, right? So I went through this for many of years, many, many of years. I was the fat guy. I was the unhealthy guy. I went through this for many of years, you know. Until one day, God said, what do I do to wake up free? What do I do to wake him up? So he made me type 2 diabetic. When he made me type 2 diabetic, I seen my dad suffer. I seen my dad lose his leg. I seen friends go through dizzy spells where they just forget where they're at. I seen a lot of stuff from diabetes. I even see my sister to this day still give herself insulin and everything, right? When he did that, it scared me. I didn't know how to deal with it, but it scared me. After he did that, and this will be on the book, I was so mad. I was angry at him. I was mad. I was I was this close to calling him a name, right? And I was blaming on him. You're not helping me, you know. Is there are you really real? You know, when you got a question to God like that, that's bad, right? But as soon as and I won't get into this cuz cuz I'll start crying, but as soon as I get as soon as and it'll be in the book, but and I'll try to keep together guys. This is this is really strong, but and everybody goes through this, but as soon as I told him, God, you're the most powerful ever. You're the most greatest ever. And I'm sorry for forgetting your power. I'm sorry for forgetting you, forgetting why I'm here. Why am I here to this day? And I said, God, I said, I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm going to be able to eat. I don't know what I'm going to change. But if you help me and you guide me, I won't let you down. And to this day, three and a half years ago, bam, no longer type two diabetic. Bam, no longer high blood pressure. No longer no anxiety, no depression, no digestive problems. I don't even get slight headaches, guys. I don't even get slight headaches. I don't get slight headaches. Do you know what? I even try to get a headache. I try to make noise, but I don't get a slight headache, right? And the thing is, we're we're set in this world where right now we feel a lot of people would tell you there's people out there now, there's more people out there that feel that God's not everything, that God's not the reason why you're breathing. That God's not the reason why you wake up. That God's not the reason why you're still standing. And they've forgotten that he is. That he is. Because we can all go to church. We can all go to church. But if we don't know the meaning of why we're going to church. You see, guys, I don't even go to church as often as I should. But church is in my heart. Church is in my heart. You know, I pray to God every day day every day i pray to him and i thank him i thank him before i pray to him i thank him every day and my prayer now at one time i was against him making me type 2 diabetic but now i thank him this is the prayer jesus thank you for making me type 2 diabetic thank you for waking me up and now I want to help others. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm helping others that are going through complications, that are going through problems, that are feeling lonely, that feel that there is nothing left for them, that feel they want to leave this world. I'm here. I'm here to tell you, guess what? He changed my life. He can change yours. He changed Jimmy's life. If Jimmy, Jimmy, one day Jimmy's going to be on my show, Hyman, and he's going to tell you he has a testimony for you of how he used to be. A lot of us used to be like that. 
We used to run the streets. We used to do all kinds of stuff, right? Trying to fit in, trying to do this, trying to do all that, trying to be in the limelight. But that's the light right there. That's the light. That's the ultimate light, you know? And you're still standing. You're still standing. You know, lately I've been um, listening to uh, Les Brown. Les Brown, oh, my God. He's a he's a, a motivational speaker. He's a excuse me. He's a godly, a spiritual person. He's amazing. I haven't met him, but I look forward to meeting him because I'm gonna meet him one day. And he's amazing. He will blow your mind. He will show you stuff about you. That you would have never known. You know, all of us have greatness. All of us have. Uh, we're all good at something. You know, we're all good at something. Even on TikTok, you see all these people doing uh, different things on TikTok. You got this guy that got on a skateboard, got on a skateboard. And it's the biggest thing right now. The biggest thing. Maybe be, be, because before he got on that skateboard. Maybe he thanked God. Maybe he appreciated God. You see, we don't know everybody's story. We just see that, hey, you know what? They're famous now. Hey, you know what? They're doing this now. But we don't know the first step they took to get there. You know, we're, we're too easy. We're ready. We're ready to wait for a person to drop, to go down. And what I mean by that is when I'm on Facebook and I see somebody doing anything, anything they could have cooked something i pull out something clapping hands i put out whatever i do whatever i do to show them hey that was awesome what you did but not all of us work that way this is how our mind works man did you see that man that looked really cheesy that that didn't look good at all we do not know how much work was put into that and that's the same thing about your faith. That's the same thing about your faith. Because sometimes we feel, man, you know what? Man, God's not working for me. You know what? I wanted a house and I got this little bitty house. I, 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 wanted, I wanted a car and I haven't got a car yet, but I'm able to get the bus and I'm able to get this. And or somebody's giving me a ride. Well, he's already working. He's already doing something for you. But again, you are too easy to judge something small when it might be something big that you just don't see yet. You see, we don't see the big picture. We don't see the I, if, if you would have told me free, you could you could honestly say I'm preaching. Right. But you, if you would have said free, you're going to be motivating people. You're going to be pushing people. You're going to be helping people. You're going to be showing people there's a better way. You're going to have a cookbook coming out to help people. You're going to have a bakery right now, sugarsthedevil.net, where people can go over there and eat sugar that are diabetic, that can enjoy themselves, that, that, that you know. I wouldn't have believed you. I wouldn't have believed you. So when they tell me, hey, Free, like right now, I have like maybe about three or four, maybe four people right now on TikTok listening to me. But it's not about the audience. It's about who's in the audience. If I could help somebody, then I done something. You see, I never knew this was a calling at all, ever. I never knew this was a calling. My deal was to get on a live video, was to let people know how I looked and how I felt. Because I was extremely happy because I never felt like that before. Never. I've never felt that good where nothing was wrong with me. Right? And... During the time when I was almost, I was mad. I was mad at God because it, I was type 2 diabetic. I didn't know what I was going to do. During the time that happened, God was giving me a blessing in disguise. A blessing in disguise. He tries to give everybody a blessing in disguise and we turn it away. We turn it away because we want something easy because we want this. Right now, there's people out there that are sick, that have diabetes, that have high blood pressure, that have all this. 
And there's no difference between me and you. The difference is I did something about it. And a lot of times you won't do nothing about it. You don't you you do not want to change. You are comfortable people. And I say this in general, but people get comfortable. They get comfortable and they don't not they never want to change. And then you got the people next to you that are comfortable with you that will hold you down. These are your negative people. Oh, man, you know what? I heard that keto lifestyle. It's really hard. Yeah, you know what? My cousin was doing it and she got sick. Um, nah, you know what? You look good. I, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. And I heard this. I heard that. Right. And he had the people saying, oh, man, you know what? Nah, you know what? There's there's nothing good out here in the life. There's nothing good. There's no jobs out here, man. You know what? Keep on getting your unemployment. You know, don't worry about no job. Don't worry about this. No. Instead of telling you, you know what, man, you've been at your job. Didn't you learn how they run their business? Guess what? Why don't you open your own hot shot business? You know, don't be afraid. Don't have fear. Have more faith. Because if you want it and you claim it, you're going to get it. They won't tell you that. They won't tell you that. You don't have friends that want to push you up. You have friends that want to keep you down. They'll keep you up to where they're at. But once you're getting higher than they are, they don't want to see that. Friends didn't want to see me drop all this weight. Friends started saying, you know what? Free's too good now. Ah, oh, free skinny. Free's too good now. Free forgot where he came from. Oh, you know what? Oh, free man. Now, oh, now he got a company. Oh, now he's rich. He got money and everything. And I'm not. Instead of saying free, I'm glad you're not sick no more. I remember when you used to get asthma attacks and you would always pull out the sprays. And I remember when the ambulance picked you up and everything. But I'm glad you're doing good. I'm glad you were doing good. I'm glad you're rising and you're not sitting in your comfortable place no more. They won't tell you that. What they do is they deny of what you're going through. So they won't get that happiness. So They want the happiness. But they want guarantees. They want guarantees. They, if I told somebody right now, you know what? Leave your job and I guarantee you tomorrow $1,000 every four days. I would have people jump, jump, jump. But the whole thing is they got to be guaranteed. But one thing you forgot about guaranteed is your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because he guarantees you if you believe in him. We say we believe in something and we believe in something else. We believe in something else than what we need to believe in. You need to believe in you. You need to stop feeling sorry for yourself. People are easy. It's so easy for people to feel sorry for themselves. You know, like I said on the last show, I said there was somebody. I stopped at the light. I stopped at the light and the guy was selling roses and he's on a wheelchair. And I'm looking for change and money and I'm pulling out some money because those are the people that are trying to do something for themselves. This guy is rolling, rolling to where I'm at, rolling to where I'm at. I gave him $10, right? I gave him $10 and I hope I see him again because I gave him another $10, right? Because we do not do this. We're too lazy. We don't we don't want to do it. You know, it, we think of we think of the wrong things. You don't got no disabilities. This man had disabilities. You know, and some people right now, right now that I know personally. Are driving them little scooters in the grocery stores. When there's nothing wrong with them. I know them personally. They're driving them little scooters when there's nothing wrong with them. You know what's wrong with them? They're big. You know what they say? I, I can't do that. You know what? You can't do that. I used to be big too. I used to do big too. Either you want it or you don't want it. But guys, I'm off. I'm off. <laughs> what's up? Shout out to Veronica. Shout out to Annette. Shout out to... Karen, shout out to Jimmy, shout out to Dana, shout out to all y'all, shout out to Sergio, appreciate y'all, shout out to everybody on, on uh, uh, TikTok, appreciate y'all being on here, thank y'all so much, please add, add, add me on everything, um, 
Man, I'm just fired up. I got a show for y'all today, and it's called Still Standing. Because guess what, guys? I'm still standing. A lot of y'all are also still standing. You know, for people that know know me, know free, y'all know where I came from. And again, I hate to show you the same pictures, but these are the pictures right now I got in my office right now. And these are the only pictures I need to have because I know exactly where I'll never, ever be at and when i say that i say it on behalf of my wife too when people think it's not possible i'm here to tell you it is when people think that life is all about being negative i'm here to tell you it ain't you know Negative, negative, if you're around negative people and you're negative, that's exactly where your future is going to go. Negative. If you're around positive people and you're positive, the sky's the limit. You are going to be experiencing and seeing things that you never thought can happen for you. But the main thing you have to know right now is that God made all of us with greatness. You know, I was trying to look for a signature that I can use in all my shows and in everything. And I got it right there. God made all of us with greatness. We just sometimes we lose it. We throw away the key. We forgot where we put the key at. We hide the key because we went through we went through somebody passing away in our family. They took that with us. Think about this. Think about this. And if y'all can answer me this, I know we got a delay on it, but if y'all can answer me this, please answer me this. OK. So right now. If you were to leave this world, if you were to die tonight, if you were to die tonight. What? What what wouldn't have you would have done like another what what was something that you wouldn't have been able to do that you haven't done yet? Tell me that. So if you were to leave this world, what is something that you weren't you won't be able to do that you wanted to do? Tell me that it don't matter what it is. Tell me that. And and I'm going I'm to show you all something. I'm going to show you what I mean. So. Go ahead and put that on there. How long? How long we been on here? Twenty-seven minutes. But we we going at it. We, we're going at it. So, um, guys, man, I do this because um, because God blessed me, and I care I care about people more than I ever cared about people. Again, uh, three and a half years ago, I was selfish. A lot of people that know me, I was about my. I was always about me. I was always about me. Um, my family, yeah, me, and my family, but I didn't care. If a person would succeed, I didn't care if a person was negative. I didn't care, it, it, you know, I didn't care about nobody's life. I didn't care. But now I do. I didn't care about nobody's health. I never cared about nobody's health. And now I do. And now I do. I'm going to say, man, you know what? I've been there. I've been there. You know what? And when they tell me they're type 2 diabetic, I smile because I'm happy. Oh, you got type 2 diabetes? <laughs> I was like, you know what? Don't worry about it. If you let me, we'll beat it. And then, of course, they'll tell me, well, man, I heard it. I heard it's chronic. You know, doc, that's what the doctor told me. But before we start talking about them doctors, hold on. Attention, my advice is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any health problems. I am not a doctor. I just show you what worked for me. Let's begin the show. All right. So as I told you all before and told you all many, many a times, doctors are never, ever going to heal and take care of the disease. Doctors take care of symptoms. See, like there, if you have to write it down. Because a doctor did not take care of me. A doctor did not show me, did not help me. That doctor told me, you're diabetic. And I said, how can I beat this diabetes? Because I'm scared. Well, 
there's no way to beat it. There's just a way to control it. And he told me, he goes, and um, I'm going to give you some metformin pills, metaphor, whatever you call it, metformin. And you're going to take these pills. And if these pills don't work, we'll give you stronger medicine. And then I asked him, I said, so what happens if, if you give me the stronger, ins- then we give you insulin, then we give you more insulin. Do you see how many people that lose their eyesight? I know this girl that I've been trying to help. In the very beginning, I was trying to help her. She finally reached out to me when she had to learn how to walk again. Her body, her whole half of her body was paralyzed. And when she gives me the permission to say her name, I'll say it. But that that's that's something. And, you, and then I got somebody else that just lost their leg, got their leg amputated. A couple of people got their leg amputated. And you think... You would think they're going to wake up. They're going to wake up because they lost their leg. They haven't lost their life. But not all of them want this. Not all of them want to get out their comfortable place. People surrender every day of the second to their sickness. They could have the, the slightest they could have the slightest thing wrong with them. How many times have you seen people, because I've seen people like this, that they get, something happens to them. It could be the smallest thing. Something happens to them. And then they're waiting for them to ride them off. Guess what? They're disabled. They can't work no longer. They can't do that. How many people, I mean, honestly, how many people you know that get excited about this? Because I know some people that got excited about it. Right. When you have people out there. Some don't have no arms, some don't have no legs there. You got people that have autism. You know, you have people. My son, they say he has autism. I don't see it. He seems really smart. I don't see it. I see the ADHD a little bit, but I don't see the autism. Right. But even though he does, guess what? My son's going to grow up to be something really awesome. I'm going to make sure he does. I'm going to make sure he does. And I'm going to cheer him all the way. You know what? If we're going to do it that way, we're going to do it that long. So we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to get there. You know, a lot of people go through something. I know people right now that have their own business that went through so much that 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 has autism. That went through a lot of things that have that went through a lot of things, but they never gave up. You see, we can't give up on ourselves. It's real easy to give up on ourselves. But don't give up on you. Think about this. If I would have gave up on me three and a half years ago, we wouldn't be doing these shows. You wouldn't have no one doing a show like this. There is nobody right now that's doing a show like this. None. None. And there's people that do shows, but they're so confusing. You don't understand. Well, am I supposed to do that? Should I do that? Can I do that? What's this about? You don't have shows like this. You know, what you get from me, you get the, the keto coach, the intimate fasting. We ain't talked about the videos about intimate fasting, but we will. We will. We just got a lot of stuff to cover on keto. And uh, my shows are about keto. But lately... It's it's I'm telling you, it's it's God again. It's just I've been very, very motivational that I want to share everything with you guys. You know, it, it it's it's bigger than keto. It's bigger than keto. You know, look at my hat. Sugar is the devil because that's exactly what it is. Sugar is the devil. That's exactly what it is. Sugar causes everything. Sugar causes inflammation. Sugar causes sugar even causes cancer. Because it feeds into the cancer cells, right? So sugar causes that. Sugar causes, of course, it causes diabetes. It causes hypertension. It causes depression. It causes anxiety. It causes psoriasis. It causes, it causes, uh, it causes everything. Everything. But again, you can have some negative person to tell you, oh, it don't cause that. It doesn't cause that. And Or they'll say, no, it, it does. You know, I had somebody not too long ago. And this is what I mean. So I do videos and I tell people, hey, you know what? 
you should stay away from Coke, Diet Coke, stay away from Sprite, stay away from all that. And I say, you know what? You can have a Zevia. Zevias are good. They're they're clear. They don't got no aspartame, right? And you got somebody on there that commented on there, and this I think it was on TikTok, and they commented on there said, well, my brother-in-law, he dropped all that weight, and he drinks Diet Coke all the time. And then I tell her, I said, you know what? It, it may be okay. That's fine. But it's not about that. Do you know what asp- a- aspartame, aspartame, you know what it does to you? Do you know what it's used for? Go look it up. It's on your can. You know, so if I'm trying to give you better alternatives to, to be able to drop weight, to do it the right way. And plus Cokes, man, Cokes drain you. Cokes don't pick you up. Coke will pick you up. Every time you drink a Coke, pay attention. You drink a Coke. The first 10, 15 minutes, you're up. Oh, you feel good. What are you doing the next 30 minutes? You crash. Bam. Now you want another Coke and you go get another Coke. You can't just drink one Coke. So you drink you about two or three Cokes. Why? Because I used to do it every day. I used to walk around my house with a one liter or a two liter. And my wife can tell you. Or I used to buy all these soda wires and slam at least about six or seven can of Cokes a day, a day, guys. So that's behind me now. Sugar's the devil. I don't deal with it. I don't deal with it. I don't want it, you know. But anyway, hey, shout out to Cynthia. Appreciate you being on here. Shout out to everybody right here. On, 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 uh, I appreciate y'all joining me, guys. It means a lot to me for y'all to join me. Uh, I got th- I'm 36 minutes until my show. I'm going to go a few more minutes. Um, please, God, uh, guys, answer me what I told y'all. Answer me what I told you. I said right now, if you were to die today, what is something that you wouldn't have done? That you couldn't have done because, I mean, you're dead. But what is something that you wish you would have done? But you won't be able to do it. What is that? What is that? Because sometimes, and this is coming from Les Brown, sometimes you have to move before. You have to move before it's time. You know, a lot of times we tell ourselves, you know what? I, I wanna I wanna be a painter. Or I wanna do this. I wanna own my own business. And you wait and you procrastinate and you wait and you you want you're waiting for the perfect time. Right now, there's people out there that can probably open a business, but they're scared because of the COVID, right? Because of everything's going on. Do you know some businesses are booming, are booming because of the COVID, you know? So don't let something like that stop you from what you want to do. And look at, the, look, at the bright, look at the bright side. If you open your business and it doesn't do as well as you thought you will, as you thought it would do, you're going to be okay. Why? Because you're still standing. Because you're still standing. Sometimes people were afraid to open business. Sometimes people were afraid to, op- to work for themselves. You know, everything. Because they're afraid to fall. Well, if you fall down, you get back up. You know, I had this girl call me. She goes, man, free, you know, I was doing keto real good. I dropped this weight. And during the COVID, man, I, I ain't gonna lie, I fell off. But I want to do it again. And she was almost crying. And I said, you know what? This time you're going to be more sh- strong with it. You're going to come stronger. You're going to come. Sometimes we have to fall. So don't beat yourself over it. But now get up and let's go harder on it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's. Let's go harder on it. Let's do everything we didn't do the first time, you know? What's up? Shout out to Marcus, man. Appreciate y'all being on here. So I'm not sure how far of a delay we got, but the thing is, if there's something that you want to do, then do it. Don't wait. If you want to open up a taco truck, then open a taco truck. If you want to open a bakery, then open a bakery. Whatever you want to do, do it now. Do it before it's time. Do it before it's time. What happens if we always wait for the perfect time? There's not going to be a perfect time. You make the perfect time. If right now you open your business and it's not doing well because of the COVID, then you got to do more marketing. You got to do more pushing. 
You got to wake up and sleep. If you have to wake up and sleep in your office or in your restaurant, whatever you got to do, you do that. You do that. You know, you do whatever you have to do to succeed. And in the end, if you don't succeed, you're still standing. You're still standing. You got the next day to succeed. You got the following day to succeed. But you will succeed. And you will accomplish what you have to accomplish. Hey, guys, man, I really appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much, man. From the bottom of my heart, thank y'all so much. Hope y'all enjoyed my show. Please be looking out uh, for my cookbook coming out in December. We're still trying to shoot it for December, guys. I'm going to show you a a quick peek soon. I'll show you the peek of the book. Um, and it's going to be an awesome book, guys. It's going to be a really awesome book. Thank you all for all. Everybody follow me on TikTok. If you're not following me, now's the time to follow me, guys. I got a lot of great things happening. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be giving out soon. I'll be giving out on my YouTube channel. I'll be giving out a, an, a, a few air fryers. And I'll be giving out a, maybe a, gift, a couple of gift cards. And that's for Keto is Life TV. Please subscribe to Keto is Life TV. I still haven't done a show on YouTube. I did a few of them, but I haven't really done a show on YouTube, but this show goes to YouTube. So if you're watching me on YouTube right now, thank you so much. Please hit the bell and um, subscribe. Guys, thank you so much. Remember, you're still standing. That's what the that's what the deal was about. Still standing. Thanks to my sponsor, man. Shout out to my sponsor, Keto Comer Team, man. Some awesome sisters, man. Everyone be blessed. If I could help you in any kind of way, please reach out to me. 832-715-2557. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Sugar is the devil. Keto is life TV. Still standing. God made all of us with greatness. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.